Okay, hi guys. Uh, in this session, I will show you how you can use your scientific calculator in order to solve the problems related to the calculation of mean and standard deviation for group data set. Okay, the group data set that we're going to use will be the one in example 3.3 .3 from the uh, Blumen textbooks that is uh, elementary statistics step-by-step -step approach okay so this will be the questions that we're gonna look at and in this section I will be using in this session I will be using the scientific calculator EFX 991 ES plus okay so in my previous video I've shown you how to use the uh, previous version of Casio FX 570 MS calculator so for this version uh, it's gonna be the same as if you are using the FX570 ES plus calculator right so without further ado let's just continue so this is our question so we are looking at this example months run per week where we want to estimate the uh, let me just close this one if you want, uh, we want to estimate the what is the data is all about. Okay, uh, it's about the length, I think. So, no, okay, the number of miles run during one week for a sample of 20 runners. Okay, so you want to get the average miles run and also the standard deviation miles run. So, before we proceed with uh, the explanation and also the usage of the calculator, let me just explain a bit on how we can solve the problem. So, if you're dealing with a group data set, so the first thing that you need to do is to find the midpoint of the class interval. Okay, for each of the class interval represented in the table, so you need to find the midpoint. So in order to find the midpoint, what you just need to do is uh, taking the average of both the upper and lower values for each of the class. Okay, so in this case, for the first midpoint, you take the value of 5.5 .5 and 10.5 and then take the average of these two values. So you get 8 and then for the second one, you take the average of 10.5 and 15.5. So you get 13 and you do this for all the other classes. Okay. So just look at the solution for the mean in this case because we're going to jump to uh, the next uh, page because we're looking at the standard deviation also. We're going to show you how to do that. And then just bear in mind, so in this case, whenever you calculate the summation of the fx and find the summation of fx, you get summation of fx equal to 490. And calculating the mean, you get 24.5. Miles. So this is the average miles run by the runners. Okay. Okay. Let's ju uh, jump to the standard deviation portion. Oh, sorry. One seven zero. Okay. So this is for the standard, the same data set, but right now we are looking at the standard deviation. So this is the solution. So in order to calculate the standard deviation, we not only have to find the fx, but also we have to find the multiplication of x, uh, f, the frequency with the spread of the midpoint. So without further ado, let me just show you how we can solve this problem using your scientific calculator. So let me bring up my scientific calculator on the screen. Okay, so this is your scientific data. So this one is 991 ES plus. Okay, we're gonna use this uh, to solve the problem. So I will show you step by step on how from uh, the beginning, from the start of you entering the data, and also how you're going to come up with the result. Okay, getting the summation value and also the values for the mean and the standard deviation. Okay. So the process of uh, solving the problem will be the same during the exam whereby you just need to find the summation value and then 
for calculating the mean, you write down the founders, substitute the correct value, and then you can also you can find the result or the answer from your calculator without evaluating the uh, solution uh, the formulas manually. Same thing with uh, standard deviation. You, you can also use the same process. Okay, let's continue with this one. So right now, the first thing that you need to do here is to change your uh, calculator mode setting from the normal mode into a statistical mode. So what you need to do here is just simply click on the mode button. Okay, punch in the mode button and you see that number three, we have statistic. Okay, so choose number three. Okay, you have this uh, on your screen. So let's just uh, clear this one first. Okay, in order to see the option for under the statistic, what you need to do is just simply uh, punch in one, shift one, and this gives you the scenario, the option, what you can do with the statistical uh, button, okay, the statistical function. So you can see that number two is data. So that means that is when you want to enter your data set. So when you uh, choose number two, you can see that there's only one column because this is for the ungrouped data set, whereby you only have one values, you don't have the frequency. So how do you enter the data for the frequency in this uh, particular uh, scientific calculator? So what you need to do right now is simply uh, change this into a two column where you have the variable and also the midpoint and also the frequency. Okay, how to do that? Okay, I've shown you how to enter the frequency in the previous video for the older version of Casio FXM570. So now I'm going to show you how you can do this on this particular calculator. Okay, so let's just clear this one first. Okay, so in order to come up with the frequency, what you need to do right now is just simply press shift mode okay so under shift mode you have several options and you can see that on top of the screen there is a, 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 a more button uh, at the bottom where you can just scroll down okay click on the scrolling button downwards so you can see the second window you have the number four that is statistic okay choose that one Okay, now you have the option for the frequency whether you want to turn it on or you want to turn it off. Just now, it's actually our frequency is turn, on, turn off. So that means we have to turn it on. So we choose number one. So now it's already turned on. So just go back to shift number one to enter your data. So number two. So now you see that in your, uh, in your calculator screen, it has two columns. The value for x and the value for frequency so the next part is to enter the data so let enter the data one by one so the first one is eight okay so to store the data you just need to press equal sign so now it's for the first value so just ignore the frequency one first okay at this moment later we're gonna uh, enter the correct value over there okay and then number two is 13 so you just continue 13 enter 18 equal 23 equal and then 28 equal 33 equal 38 okay so next we need to enter the frequency just use your scroll button to scroll to the next column and then just go to the first row okay for the frequency so the first frequency is one and then two three five right so one same process two three five and then four three two four three Okay, now you have entered all the values so you can just uh, since you already uh, entered all the values you can clear the screen here so the, the calculator screen just by clicking on uh, pressing the AC button so now it's already uh, cleared 
is only cleared from the screen but is not cleared from the memory of the statistical analysis so the data is still in there so what you need to do right now is to come up with the summation value so to do that just click again shift press or shift one and then you see that the third option is the summation sum so select number three they give you two options so number one is summation of x squared and number two summation of x so for a free, uh, group data set the summation of x squared will be referring to summation of fx squared and number two summation of x refer to summation of fx so let's say right now you want the summation of fx that is 490 so you choose select number two and then press equal sign to get the answer so you have 490 same as what you have in the text so you repeat the process for fx squared so shift number one and then number three so now you want fx squared is number one e equal so you get one three three one zero so so you get the same answer as what you can see uh, on your text okay so the next thing to do is to solve the uh, mean value and also the standard deviation so as i mentioned earlier what you just need to do is simply write down the summation value and then to solve the x value you just need to uh, the mean value you just need to write down the formula and then substitute the correct value and find the answer from your calculator so how you can do that so just go to shift again and number one again so right now we want the fourth option that is the variable okay var refer to the variable so you choose number four so now they give you four option n is the total number of frequency and then number two is x bar the mean number three is the sigma x that is for the population standard deviation and number four is sx that is for the sample standard deviation in this situation we are interested in to find the number two and number four because we assume that this is a sample not a population right so to find the value for the mean you need to select number two and then it comes up on the screen x bar so just press in equal sign to get the answer so you get 24.5 mile as what we have uh, previously right so similarly to find the value for the standard deviation you choose shift number one again and then number four for the variable and right now we want the sample standard deviation that is sx number four so select number four and press equal sign so you get the values to be 8.3 over here so you have this one 8.3 right so that is the value for the standard deviation if you want the variance what you just need to do is just simply square the standard deviation so you can do that by just pressing the answer key and then okay next to the equal sign and then just put square okay x squared so equal sign so you get 68.68 or 7 so this is the values that you found okay so uh, that's it uh, on how to use your scientific calculator to solve the problem related to mean and the standard deviation for the group data set uh, i hope this is useful for you in helping you to uh, in your study in helping you in your study to solve problems related to this type of questions okay uh, if you like the video uh, please give it a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new items uh, uploaded in my youtube channel okay until we meet again next time in other videos so see you Bye.